But in here, and this is all documented, I've got this run script, which will start memcache. It might already be running in the background. We'll find out. It's already running. If you want to start from scratch, just delete it. See? So I'm spinning off memcache, which is a basically a memory lookup. You can give it as much memory as you want. This is just given a small amount. So right now it's up and running, but there's no data in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this send memcache data script. It's going to give it an IP of 10.5.55.3 and 10.5.55.2. And it's going to mark them as being on a threat and tell feed with a score of 32 and a score of 99. So this will make sense here in just a second. Stored, stored. So now memcache has that data. Now what I can do is I can run a query against memcache and see if it can do this lookup. Memcache has been one of the best things I have implemented in my environment because we actually do cloud hosting of the open source Elastic Stack as a commercial offering. And so we have clients that are like 300 employees up to clients that are, well, the most recent one is, I don't know their employee count, but the amount of data they send per day is like a terabyte, almost two terabytes of data per day. So they're a huge environment. <laughs> And if I'm doing a bunch of lookups and you have like say two terabytes a day of data, your events per second is really up there. DNS lookups, geo lookups, even that file top 1 million lookup can start to get expensive just because of the volume. So what we do is we memcache front end the data. So in this case, the top 1 million goes into memcache and we do the lookup there. We actually programmatically, if it's not in memcache, it'll read from disk, but then Logstash can actually inject it in the memcache for you. So it's really cool. This is just doing a get, a check, but Logstash can do a, hey, if it's in memcache, pull it. If it's not in memcache, pull it from file, but then push it into memcache with a put. And so our config files that we do, the full complete ones, it's basically get, but then it'll do something like, well, if the threat Intel score field exists, which is what that's st stating, do this, which we wouldn't need to do anything, or then we'll do the lookup from file, but then push it in a memcache. So here we go. It's running. I'm going to do 10.5.55.2. Notice as a threat Intel score of 99. Where did that threat and tell score get from? This is just a demo. I made it up. Watch 1055, 55.3. 10, 5, we'll just do 1.2.3.4. There's no threat score because I didn't put it in my demo data set. This is where you can start to do things like misp log stash memcache. I didn't write this, someone else did. It's a, a really good project. I believe it's this link. Yeah. So basically what this person's doing is they have a Python script that pulls threat Intel feed data from MISP and they throw it in memcache. And then Logstash queries memcache. That is a super high speed blazing fast lookup service. So you could do this also with things like um, the collective intelligence framework. The collective intelligence framework technically stores all of its data in an Elasticsearch database, and it'll download hundreds of gigs of threat intel feed. For that, you would really need to use the Elasticsearch lookup, which we showed earlier in our Windows example. Let me stop this. So in the Enrich folder Windows, how you would query this is just with Elasticsearch, you'd query it. But let's say you did the collective intelligence framework. You have like Hundred, hundreds of gigs of data. I wouldn't necessarily want to throw that in the memcache because I don't have hundreds of gigs of RAM on one box. Well, I do, <laughs> but you might not. <laughs> if you have it, sure, why not? But if I don't do that, Elasticsearch is super fast, but if I'm doing 50,000 queries a second against it, it might not be fast enough which case you might need to move the data into something like memcache. So 
I might selectively say maybe 500 gig of data is here in Elastic for threat feeds, but roughly 50 gig of this that we really care about, that's this special category, that goes into memcache. So memcache is one of the fastest ways I found to query within Logstash.